why do I want more oxygen in my tissue? That's a great question. So, you know, my background is uh, I, I've done a lot of functional medicine and nutrition in my life. So I look at this primarily as a nutrient. You know, we can go days, weeks, we can even go months without food. You know, we can go a couple days without water, but we, can only, we can't barely go a few minutes without oxygen. And we need about 100% of the oxygen that we're capable of carrying every minute of every day just to perform normal function. So there's very little room for creating an excess of oxygen for the sake of healing or helping some of the conditions that we'll talk about later on. And so the way I look at it is, is nutritionally, let's say vitamin C. If, if you didn't get enough vitamin C, you'd have a deficiency. We call that scurvy. And so there's consequences to having a deficiency in vitamin C. Likewise, there's an optimum range of vitamin C that you would try to get every day just to make sure that you have enough to perform all the tasks that you're gonna ask vitamin C to do inside your body every day. And then there's, a, there's a, a, a period that you might choose to mega dose vitamin C, maybe if you had a cold or if you were doing IV vitamin C drips. And so there's basically in nutrition, there's deficiency, which has consequences. There's optimum range, which is allowing us to do what we need to do every day. And then there's periods where we need a surplus of that nutrient to help us deal with some issue that we're having in our health or in our life. So I look at oxygen the same way. If you're not getting enough oxygen, whether that's globally because of a lung or heart issue, or if that's locally because of a, a trauma like a TBI or some type of injury, you could have an area of your body that has oxygen deficiency. We call that hypoxia. So if you have a deficiency of oxygen, it's hypoxia. There's an optimum range of oxygen, which for us is virtually almost 100% of our oxygen carrying capacity every minute of every day. And then periodically we might choose that we wanna create a surplus of oxygen because oxygen is the fuel that literally runs our body, right? It helps us detoxify, it controls inflammation, it runs our energy production. I mean, we'll get into all the details, but oxygen is the fuel that we need and sometimes we might need more than the optimum range to help us get over some sort of health issue or like what we, you were referring to earlier, from a, a quality of life, longevity, regenerative medicine type standpoint, that excess oxygen could, could be really magical for people from just from a healing uh, capacity. If you want to heal and heal faster than, you know, um, than, than whatever situation someone's in, or, or if, if inflammation or if there's, there's issues, health issues that are really compromising the healing process, all kinds of autoimmune conditions, benefit from it. Um, all types of neurologic conditions like uh, concussion and TBI and dementia post-stroke, all types of musculoskeletal injuries, even you know broken bones, torn muscles and tendons, disc herniations. I actually got into hyperbaric initially because of a disc herniation that I had. And so if, if the idea is that we need to control inflammation, if we need to improve the rate of healing, you know, if we need to uh, improve mitochondrial function, uh, all of these are, are going to be, you know, very solid indications of people who would respond very positively to, to hyperbaric.